so better we have a question and actually it's a part and it relates to the topic accruals and prepayment okay so we need to solve the part c and what is the requirement better the requirement is we need to prepare the following ledger account now what is the ledger account better ledger account is known as t account for the year ended 30th september and what we need to do better we need to prepare a rent payable account so rent payable account better means it's a rent expense account so instead of writing expense account the examiner says it as rent payable account the rent payable or rent expense means the same now you must remember from your earlier studies that for expense account uh, there is a mnemonic that we use and it was a p p a okay it was the mnemonic that we are going to use sorry for expense it was p w a p prepaid accrued and then accrued and finally prepaid now what is this p w a p sir this is uh, used for expenses prepaid accrued accrued and prepaid now there are two types of expenses beta one is prepaid expense and one is accrued expense prepaid expense means that we have paid more than we what we actually owe so the extra amount that we have paid is prepaid and it is also known as advance a rent paid in advance so if we have paid more than we actually owe so therefore it is an asset and asset always has a debit nature so therefore the balance bd should goes on the debit side and if the opening balance is going on the debit side then the closing balance must come on the credit side now what about the accrued expense beta accrued expense is owing or liability it's a liability so it means that we have used the space uh, but we haven't paid the rent yet okay or we haven't paid the complete rent yet so the amount that we owe for last year okay previous year it's a liability so the opening liability would go on the credit side then the closing liability must go on the debit side uh, and whenever we pay for rent what would be the entry entry would be rent account would be debited and bank or cash would be credited but if the examiner doesn't mention anything we are supposed to write bank and not cash and we can only write cash if it's clearly written that we have paid it through cash now expense is by nature debit but at the end of the year what we need to do beta we need to close the rent account and we need to transfer it to where income statement now let's see beta if the year is ending on 30 september then the year must have been started on 1st october now the 1st october 21 would be the opening balance okay now we are talking about rent right now the opening rental was 650 credit so we are going to write it on the credit side and instead of writing accrued we are going to write balance bd and what is the date beta date is 1st october 2021 okay this is the opening balance and we are writing it 650 pounds or dollars credit now payment or receipts by check although uh, there uh, if it's a rent payable so therefore we are paid and not receive the rent so whenever we are uh, whenever we are going to pay the rent the entry would be better rent would be debited and the bank account would be credited okay so if the examiner doesn't mentions the date here we are assuming that we have paid the rent on the end of the year now the year is ending on 30 september 22 okay in this question and at the end of the year uh, balance is credit again as you can see balance at 30 september so beta uh, if the this is the closing balance and it's written as credit so uh, in the closing balance beta the sides always change okay opening credit balance is coming on the credit side but if the opening credit balance comes on the credit side then the closing credit balance must go on the debit side okay what happens beta at the end of the year uh, the if if the opening balance is credit it should come on the credit side and if the closing balance is credit it should come on the debit side okay in the closing beta the side always changes closing balance balance cd side always changes so what is the closing balance we are being given It's six hundred credit. Now it's time to better balance this T account. And how would we do that, beta? We need to see whichever is the bigger side. Now, as you can see clearly, the bigger side is the debit side. Now, what we need to do? We need to add up both of the sides. The bigger side is obviously the debit side, ten to fifty. 
and the biggest side balance beta would go on both of the sides 10 to 50 and the remaining balance would be transferred to where income statement so if i deduct 650 from this 10 to 50 i am left with what balance 9600 so this is the income statement value 9600 now we need to write beta end of the year date and that is 30 september 22 okay this balance CD closing balance would become balance BD at start of the next period after October. So, sorry, after September would become 1st October 22. Now, instead of writing accrued prepaid, I'm just writing balance CD and balance BD. Now, the examiner said it was a credit balance. Now, uh, as we can see, the balance BD is coming on the credit side. Okay. So, whenever examiner referred to as a credit or debit balance, this means balance brought down should go on that respective side. Okay. So this is better how we make a rent payable account and it's an expense account. So we need also need to prepare one more account in the in here. And previously it was C part one. And now it's part two. Uh, in this, what we need to do better, we need to prepare an income account. And why I'm saying that because it's rent receivable. And receivable is always with a income for the business. Okay, income for you. Now, uh, in the expense account, beta, we use the mnemonic PAAP. Okay, and the income account, this is the reverse mnemonic. It is known as AAPA. Okay, upper account. What is this? This is rent receivable or something else. Yes, it's rent receivable. Rent receivable means beta we have given one of our space to one of our tenant. Okay, rent receivable account, and this is an income for the business. So instead of writing PAAP, now we are supposed to write what we are supposed to write A double P accrued, prepaid, prepaid, and accrued. Now, why are we using this mnemonic APPA? Uh, beta this APPA is again accrued prepaid prepaid accrued now uh, as we discussed previously there were two types of expenses prepaid expense and accrued expense and there are two types of incomes as well accrued income and prepaid income accrued income means that we have given the space to one of our tenants but the tenant has failed to pay us the rent that was due so the amount that we have not yet received from the tenant is basically an asset for the business it's a receivable for the business okay so the opening balance of asset would go on the debit side and the closing balance must go on the opposite side that is credit side now what is prepaid income prepaid income means better we have received the money from the tenant but we are yet to provide the space to the tenant okay so tenant has paid extra rent more than they have actually used the space okay so the extra rent that we have received from the tenant it's our liability okay why it's the liability because we need to provide the service to them in the future so if the opening liability goes on the credit side then the closing must go on the debit side now whenever beta we receive the rent from the tenant what would be the entry the entry would be bank would be debited and rent received would be credited okay bank would be debited and rent received would be credited now what happens beta at the end of the year as you may be aware that income is credit by nature but at the end of the year we need to debit the income account and we need to transfer it to where we need to transfer it to an income statement okay rent received would be debited and the income statement needs to be credited now let's see beta at the start of the year we have debit balance 250 on 1st october so if it's a debit balance so this means beta it's an accrued income why because uh, it should go on the debit side and it is a receivable for the business 250 this means uh, the tenant owes us 250 rent for the previous year previous year now this year how much rent we have received beta by check we have received 5000 so the entry would be bank would be debited and the rent received would be credited by 5000 now if the examiner doesn't mention the date we are assuming it's the end of the year date and there can be more than one bank uh, uh, entries as well but in this case we have received the entire year rent uh, in one go now as you can see better the balance cd is not given to be calculated but one thing that is given is transfer to income statement transfer to income statement means this is the total rent for this year 
this is the total income for the year so we are already being provided with the income statement value here and that is 6750 so we can just write 6750 here and we can write the date as 30th September 22 now Peter previously what we uh, did the examiner did examiner gave us the opening and closing balance and bank value and we found this missing figure that is income statement value but in this question Peter the opening value is given and income statement and bank both are given but the closing balance is missing so sir how to find whether it's a accrued or whether it's a prepaid closing or it's a debit or credit balance just uh, add up both of the sides and see whichever is the greater side as you can see better the bigger side is debit side 7000 and now what we need to do better we need to deduct 5000 from the 7000 in order to find this balancing figure and this balancing figure would be a balance cd okay and in this case balance cd was not given and we found the balance cd and we are going to write again 30 september end of the day and if this balance cd is coming on the credit side it's an accrued income why a p p and a this is an accrued income and this word comes on the balance brought down at the start of next period and if it's coming on the debit side so therefore it's an asset for the business and why does income uh, becomes an asset because we have provided the space to the tenant but the tenant has not yet paid the previous year's rent okay so this is the rent receivable and this is the expense account for expense beta we use the mnemonic as pwap prepaid accrued accrued prepaid and p a a n p and for income we use the mnemonic a double p a accrued prepaid prepaid accrued okay this is how we solve beta accruals and prepayment questions in the exam